Good afternoon, YouTube. It is a great day to live a fit life. This year, I am picking 12 different things, one a month, that are health trends that I'm testing for you so that you don't have to try them out and see if they're worth it. This month, I am testing out this food waste reduction trend. I'm ordering imperfect foods and misfit foods. And in today's video, I'm going to compare imperfect and misfits against each other and against my local Walmart prices. I'm coming to you from my new bedroom. This will be my new set once it's finished. It was supposed to be done by Christmas and it's February, we'll see. Misfits you can add to your box and that will make the cost go up. But otherwise, it's pretty much produce, fruits and vegetables. Imperfect was different because I could choose meats and pantry items. I can add pantry items to Misfits, but they weren't pantry items that I needed, so I didn't add them. With Misfits, came with one ice pack. And I noticed the packaging is different than it used to be. It is just corrugated cardboard stuff on the inside. These carrots are great. They're really sweet. All of the produce in here is very fresh. Now I'm going to compare it to my imperfect box. Then we'll compare both boxes. This is actually the second day of this filming. This box was supposed to come yesterday, which was Wednesday. Today is Thursday and it actually came. I got an email yesterday saying that my box didn't come out on the day it was supposed to, so here is $5.99 off your next order. So here it has been my problem with Imperfect Foods is last week it didn't come at all. This week it was a day late. This is my first Imperfect box and we shall see whether or not it was worth it to order. Not nearly as much packing material as this fits. Whoop. Here we go. I do want to show you something. My lemon is squeezed and cracked opens, all leaked out. I hope that is my lemon juice all over the bottom of this. And there is my refrigerated item with another ice pack. Raw meat with chocolate. That, hmm, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Cause that raw meat is a little bit slimy. And that makes me very nervous. I'm really not sure how <laughs> how I like Imperfect. Misfits and Imperfect both ship via FedEx. Misfits has never had a problem with their shipments through FedEx, but it seems like Imperfect keeps having problems and they say that it's FedEx's fault. I'm really not happy about this. There's like slimy stuff leaking all over this bag. I feel like putting raw meat with other stuff is a bad idea. Also makes me nervous about my vegetables because they were in there. This was upside down. There's stuff leaking out of it and it's on raw vegetables. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my cucumbers and my lemons and stuff now because they've been with my raw salmon that's dripping on my floor. And now comes the fun part of price comparing my Misfits and Imperfect and Walmart. The organic zucchini squash, $1.48. For a bag of organic carrots from Walmart, it would have been $1.16. The pink lady apples were 89 cents each, making it a total for six, $5.34. For two bok choy, it would have been $4.42. Green beans from Walmart are $1.68. Eggplant, $1.78. One grapefruit is 89 cents. Cabbage, $2.52 for organic. The organic celery would have been $2.76 for that same bunch from Walmart. Two summer squash, it would have cost me $2.00 
$1.96. My Misfits box for everything that was included. If I had bought it from Walmart, it would have been $24.99. Some of the Walmart products were organic, but not all of them because my Walmart doesn't always have everything in organic. Misfits is, and that was only $23.99, so I would have saved a dollar to just buy it from Misfits and have it delivered to my house. The eight sweet potatoes were $3.80 from Imperfect, and the ones from Walmart were $3.12 for eight, and I feel like Walmart would have been a better deal because the ones from Imperfect were really thin whereas the ones at Walmart are thicker. If I had bought fresh salmon at Walmart, I would have paid $7.94 a pound, whereas with Imperfect, I paid $9.79 a pound. The blueberries, $2.65 from Imperfect, and if I had bought them at Walmart, it would have been $3.58. The chicken apple sausage, that was $4.99. Walmart, they sell their brand for $2.58. These, I couldn't find anything similar to this at Walmart. So I price compared it to the Pepperidge Farm. This is about $1.99 per ounce, $2.98, a dollar more. You could buy a whole bag of shortbread cookies, the Pepperidge Farms brand at Walmart. The two cucumbers I got from Imperfect were $1.49, $1.36 at Walmart. Two pears were 99 cents from Imperfect and $1.78 from Walmart. Lemons from Imperfect were buck 18 and Walmart $1.16. Two heads of garlic were 89 cents from Imperfect and 96 cents from Walmart. The seven ounces of baking chocolate or snacking chocolate if you're like me and you like really dark chocolate. This is $2.99 from Imperfect which breaks down to 0 0.42 cents an ounce. If I compared it to the Ghirardelli at 10 ounces, $3.94, it would have been 0.39 cents per ounce. Walmart Ghirardelli was less expensive per ounce. My Imperfect Foods box was $30.76. If I were to buy all of those products from Walmart, my total would be $29.40. So it really would not have saved me much money. So if you have a good experience with Imperfect Foods, then it would be worth it. Now, granted, Imperfect Foods did refund me a whole bunch of money because, well, they really messed up with this order. The salmon leaked all over Gross. They did do right and that they reimbursed me the money that they messed up. The other problem I had with Imperfect was they messed up both weeks on shipping it out to me. Neither week did they get it to me on time. Well, Misfits and Imperfect are worth purchasing as long as you don't buy fresh meat from Imperfect. As long as you don't mind if it doesn't get there when you think it's going to. Moral of the story, I prefer Misfits. If you'd like to give Misfits a try, here's my code. And that way you can get, I think it's 20% off your first order. So anyways, it helps me out too, because I get like 10% off my orders, which I would really appreciate because I love my Misfits box. I will see you guys in the next video because I'm so excited about what I've got going on behind the scenes and I'll tell you about it in the next one.